grow, grow, grow and learn. Come and read with me. Let's get together and have fun. Come and read with me. Assalamu alaikum and hello friends. Welcome back to story time with Miss Bake. My story time pals, Ahmed, Timmy and Jackson are so excited that you can join us. So let's move on to our next story for our Ramadan night series. Today's story is called, Who Will Help Me Make Iftar? by Asma Hussein and illustrated by Saleha Kaliska. Mustafa Amcha and his wife have a yearly tradition. They cook iftar for their friends and neighbors on the first day of Ramadan. This year, Mustafa Amcha's wife is sick and can't help him cook. Will he be able to find others to pitch in and create a meal for everyone to enjoy? Let's find out. Every year on the first day of Ramadan, Mustafa Amcha and his wife cooked a delicious meal for all their neighbors, but his wife Aisha Taizi was not well this year. Let's cancel the iftar, she said. Our neighbors will understand. No, we must continue our tradition, Mustafa Amcha replied. I'll prepare the soup, the rice, the beef kawarma, the salad, and the Rivani all on my own. I've watched you do it for 40 years. But who will help you? She said, you are an old man now. Your bones creak and your hands shake. Don't worry, he replied with a laugh. I will find help. Mustafa Amcha called out to his daughter, Halima, will you help me buy the dates to break our fast? I can't, says Halima. I am far too tired from fasting. So Mustafa Amcha went to the market with a pocket full of jingling coins and brought the sweet dates himself. On his way home, Mustafa Amcha ran into his friend Mahmoud. Will you help me make the red lentil soup for our iftar? He asked. I can't, said Mahmoud. The onions always burn my eyes. So Mustafa Amcha cut the onions and carrots himself, washed the lentils and sprinkled the bubbling soup with paprika and dried mint. Mustafa Amcha spotted his neighbor Basir outside. Will you help me make the pilaf rice and the beef kawarma for our iftar? He asked. I can't, said Basir. I will get my new shirt dirty. So Mustafa Amcha seasoned and stirred the spicy beef with one hand and mixed the rice and crispy vermicelli with the other. Mustafa Amcha found his granddaughter Zainab playing a video game. Will you help me cut the cucumbers and tomatoes for the salad? He asked. I can't, Zainab said. I'll, if I leave my game now, I'll lose all my points. So Mustafa Amcha sliced and diced a mountain of tomatoes and cucumbers himself and topped them with feta cheese and a handful of black olives. The delicious smells of Mustafa Amcha's cooking tickled his family's noses. It filled the air and made his neighbor's mouths water. It was finally time to break the fast. Who will eat some dates with me? Mustafa Amcha called out in the masjid. But I did not help you buy the dates, says Halima. How can I break my fast with them now? God love those who feed fasting Muslims, Mustafa Amcha said. He passed the juicy dates around to all the fasting men and women. After prayer, Mustafa Amcha motioned for everyone to come into his courtyard for a meal. But I did not help you make the pilaf rice or the beef kawarma, said Basir. How can I enjoy it now? And I did not help you 
cut the onions for the lentil soup, said Mahmoud. How can I sit and slurp it now? And I did not help you cut the salad, said Zainab. How can I happily munch on it now? Mustafa Amcha laughed and he said, God loves those who are generous, especially to their families, neighbors, and guests. And I always want God to love me. He ladled the fragrant soup into everyone's bowls and filled their plates with mounds of rice, beef, and salad. When all the guests had happily filled their bellies, Mustafa Amcha stepped into the kitchen to prepare tea. He suddenly realized he had forgotten to make the rivani. Oh, but what will my guests have for dessert? He said, looking around. How about this? His wife Aisha Daisy pointed to a large tray filled with moist rivani, syrupy baklava, and sticky squares of Turkish delight. I may be sick, she said, but I can still find ways to help my old husband. When Halime had finished the last crumbs of her sweet rivani, she stood up and asked, who will help me wash the dishes? Mahmoud asked, who will help me sweep the floors? Basir asked, who will help me take some food to the needy? The neighbors washed the dishes, the children swept the floors, and their friends made plates of food to share with the needy. When Mustafa Amcha heard the call to Isha prayer, he stood up. Before he could ask, all the voices around him said together, Yes, we will all come and pray with you. Every Ramadan, Muslims around the world fast for one lunar calendar month while refraining from food and drink from the start of dawn to sunset each day. They also endeavor to be more generous and giving to their families, neighbors, and the needy in their communities. Name pronunciation tips. Mustafa Amcha, Mustafa Amja, Aisha Tazia, and Halima and Bashir. So we hope that you enjoyed today's story. So let's move on to counting down the days of Eid. Okay. We are at day number Number 16. 16 days left until Eid. Until next time, see you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Bye now.